Good evening, everyone. Hope you guys are all well. Just doing a quick video uh, in relation to standard deviation. I've uh, been receiving quite a few questions with regards to standard deviation and how to use it on TradingView. Um, to start off with, I just wanted to briefly explain what deviation, standard deviation is. You can simply do that by using our, our YouTube, uh, just type in understanding standard deviation trading. This chap explains it relatively well. Just to recap, um, standard deviation is basically a probability curve. As you can see here, this is a curve. And whenever price comes out or goes within the extremes of minus one, minus two, minus three, it always tends to come back towards the zero, which is the mean, uh, as well as plus one, plus two, plus three, it always tends to bounce back towards the mean. Now, if price comes to the extreme of minus one plus one, there's 68% chance of price going back into the mean again. If price hits the extreme level of minus two and plus two, there's 95% chance of price pushing back towards the mean. And simply if price pushes even further out towards minus three, 99.7% chance of price pushing back towards the mean. So that's just a brief explain, a brief, a brief explanation there. In order for you to use it, you click on indicators, make sure your um, time frame is set to a daily time frame. You go into public library, you type in, you type in STD DEB. And you click on this indicator here, stand STD DEB indicator by W Pat uh, 197. You can add that into your favorites by clicking the star button on the left hand side. We will simply click on it. Now you'll see the indicator appearing at the bottom here. What these red and green lines are, these are extremes, extreme levels. As you can see, if you flip, if you go back in time using the daily time frame, you can see when, whenever price touched these extreme levels around here, this one touched the plus three. This was around plus three point four. What did price do? Push all the way down towards the mean. Extreme level here again. Push back down towards the mean. Um, how Kevin actually has set his one up on his think or swim platform, we can simply use it uh, by using the daily time frame and making sure our settings is set. So you click on settings, go into style, make sure it's set on the medium term, okay? And leave everything as it is. So make sure you make sure that, that this button here, medium term, is clicked or ticked. So now what you could do is start off with the zero line. So Make, click, click on your horizontal tool, place it anywhere around here, then double click on that. Then you can set your price at zero, which is just there. We'll change the style a bit, we'll change that into a blue, and that's our dashed line. So that's our zero line. So this is our zero line. You can see here, when did it touch the zero mark? When did it recently touch the zero mark? We'll use our vertical tool. It recently touched the zero mark around here. So wherever price touches that vertical line, you can say the zero mark is right there. So that's our zero mark. The middle of that daily candle there, that's our zero mark. As you can see, price pushed up from there and now it's headed towards the plus one. 68% chance of it pushing towards the mean or it could potentially push even further out. So we'll be looking for rejections anywhere around here. If this mark or this plus, plus one breaks, it's gonna to continue to push up towards plus two. So let's mark our plus one area. So click on another line, make another line. So once you've set this, this should automatically appear. So coordinates plus one. There you go, there's our plus one. Click on another line for plus two. 
is our plus two and plus three. And we'll do the same thing for minus, minus one, minus two, minus three. So minus one is just there, minus one, minus two, and minus three. And there we have it. We have our zones without, within our levels. We have our level, sorry, at plus three, plus two, plus one, zero, which is the dashed line, minus one, minus two, minus three. Um, during during high, high to extreme low volatility, you can see here price pushed all the way down towards even minus six, great area to have started to long or place your longs from here to get that retracement or that impulse move all the way back up again. So yeah, I hope I've uh, explained it relatively well. Um, if you've got any further questions, feel free to ask myself or Kevin, but this is how Kevin sets it up um, using his Think or Swim platform. The nearest to how we can set it up on TradingView is using the daily time frame and placing our levels and looking for where the zero plus one plus two plus minus three minus two minus one levels are so you can plot that on your charts so pl plus one is just here as you can see plus one has been touched or tapped so we'll mark that one off as plus one Plus one deviation. Plus two is back in 2019. So you can see price has just been up and down plus one and minus one for GE for quite some time. So plus one was back in 17th of December. So we'll mark that one off middle of the candle, plus two. Deviation. Minus one was, where was it? Minus one was around here. See price touched it there, which is the center of that one. Minus one. minus one deviation and we look for minus two just there that's similar to plus minus one as well let's just have another look now yes it is it's similar to minus two We'll zoom out a bit more. We look for minus two. Which is just here. So minus two is quite quite close to minus one. And minus three is the center of this one. So minus one, minus two, minus three, they're relatively close. Hence the reason why price just uh, sitting close to or rebounding or off minus one all the time for GE. Minus, minus one, minus two, minus three, it's relatively low. So that's not too bad. We've set that one up pretty well. Plus two, plus one, plus two. Let's look for plus three. 
and plus three is here. So we'll mark that one off as well, which is the center of this candle right there, plus three. Plus three deviation. You can also um, use their tool. If you click on settings again, it's got different uh, bar colors at zero, uh, color one, color two, color three. So whenever price touches, say for example, plus three, like it did over, over here, you can see it's actually colored it pink. And whenever it touched plus uh, one, you can change that into, I don't know, yellow if you want. And you can see whenever price touched standard deviation one, which is around here, it turned yellow. So you can use their color coding system as well, um, just to be on the safe side. So plus one was around here, as you can see. Minus, sorry, minus one, minus two, minus three. So you can see that as well. Minus three is around here, as well as here. So yeah, uh, I think it's more accurate. It works best if you use uh, the horizontal lines rather than the rather than the color codes. But uh, if you want to, you can also use the color codes just to be on the safe side. I hope I've explained this relatively well. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask myself or Kevin, and we'll try our best to get back to you. And that's standard deviation zero. So thanks, uh, thanks once again. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. Feel free to DM me if you've got any questions. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.